So now we're gonna look at how Allah Azza wa Jal in this surah, He asked us to seek protection, but He used three of His names. There are three things here. Three names of Allah are used, Rabbin Nas, Malikin Nas, Ilahin Nas. And then three times the word Nas is mentioned for each, the mudaf ilayh, the extended two is the word Nas. Rabbin Nas, Malikin Nas, Ilahin Nas. In Arabic you could say, Qul a'udhu bi Rabbin Nas, Malikihim, Ilahihim. You could use a pronoun. You could use Dhamir instead, but Allah used Nas. So we're going to look at, try to figure out some benefits of this remarkable sequence inshaAllah ta'ala in the next part of this dars. We'll talk first about a psychological pr- progression. A child, a child. You know for a child, all of his, the, one of the first realizations a child has is that their needs are taken care of by their parent. Someone who has, you know, tarbiya over them. Someone who takes care of their tarbiya. When you have a need, you go to your murabbi. Part of the meaning of rabb is what? Murabbi. It's one of the earliest recognitions you have. You go to someone who has authority over you. Especially if in, 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 in not Islamic history, world history, a slave, when he has a need, where does he go? Even in the human sense. He goes to the master. He goes to the master. Or if you have someone who in, in a rububiya ownership is a close relationship. So the first one to turn to, who, someone who plays the role of owner or authority or the one who takes care of you, etc. Even a child knows to do that, turn to that entity. That's captured in the word Rabb. But then there's a, there's a problem that's bigger than someone individually. Your parent can't take care of that problem. The one who's over you cannot take care of that problem. It's a problem bigger than that. It's a problem bigger than that. You know who you go to? You go to the government. You go to the king. You go to the sovereign. Malik. You make that next progression. But then you have a problem that's so big that your murabbi can't solve it, your sayyid, your malik, your mun'im can't solve it, your malik can't solve it, your king, government can't solve it. No one on earth can solve it. When, where do people turn to when they have that need? They turn to God. Ilahin nas. The one that's to be, you can only ask God for help now. <laughs> right? Ilahin nas. There's this progression. In the, there's a psychological progression. Now, as we're talking about psychological prog- progression, it seems like what most people do, they, fir- they first turn to two creations in dunya. They turn to their parents, or the owner, or the boss, or the employee. Somebody who, who can help them in their immediate sense, captured inside the word Rabb. Then they turn to a higher authority, captured in what word? Malik. And when all fails, now you put it in the hands of Allah. But Allah is teaching you, know, from the very beginning, where do you go? From the very beginning, your Rabb is Allah. Your Malik is Allah, your Ilah is Allah, from the very beginning. And this is the height of intellectual progression. There's psychological progression and there's intellectual progression. The height of intellectual progression, which is manifest in the Qur'an in people like Ibrahim alayhi salam, is that you understand that from your most basic needs to your greatest needs, you turn for everything to Allah.